All right, guys. Hey, I want to show you something that I think is pretty cool, pretty easy, and it's a simple way to make yourself a jig to cut LVP, or in our case, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of redwood, laminate, whatever you want to call it. So what I want to do is I made myself, I prefer to use my table saw because I believe I get the best collect, dust collection with this. Chop saw works great, but I've not figured out a way to, to get it to where I'm just capturing all that airborne dust. I can get a good chunk of it with my table saw. Plus, if you only have a table saw, great way to make a jig. First thing you're going to do is you should have on your table saw, should have come with something like this. If not, get yourself one. You don't need an expensive one. Uh, yeah, I mean, you do want something pretty nice, um, but they make a lot of these as well. Like you can order them online already pre-built. This one came with my saw. And it's the guide, it's the miter, get, miter guide that goes on either side of the drill. And then what I did is I took a piece of, uh, this is one by Poplar. I had left over a three footer. And I just, I had, because I'm a floor guy, we've always got just weird stuff laying around. I had some three quarter inch, these like washer head screws I put in there. You could, if you wanted to be a real fancy guy, you could pre-drill this, put some uh, uh, screws through, or some bolts through there, bolt that all together, really have something fancy. But it doesn't, at this point, it doesn't matter if we're square or not. I'm gonna show you what we need to do before we do any of that. So, get yourself a square. I want to make sure that my fence is square with this blade. I could really care less what these numbers down here are uh, because there's a chance if you got like a really inexpensive saw, these things aren't, aren't, uh, aren't going to be square for a hoop. I'm going to raise my blade a little bit and then I'm going to take this up here. I'm going to run that. I'm going to zoom in here, Chris. Show them what I'm doing. So I've got my fence. I've got that tight to my fence, or excuse me, tight to my blade, and I'm bringing my fence in here now, and I'm gonna square it up and lock down. Now you're gonna have to, with a, with a system like this, it's not foolproof, okay guys? You're gonna have to check this thing every once in a while because that's gonna loosen up. If you really wanna spend some money and make yourself a nice uh, sled, go ahead. This is just something inexpensive, cheap, easy to do. Now, you're gonna say, but John, you're gonna cut that right off. You're not gonna have, you're not gonna have any room. You're, you're not gonna have a board left once you run the saw. Well, we don't need to be running two inches higher on that table saw than this. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this so it's just barely above my material. Cause that's all I need to cut. Let's backtrack a little here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure this piece is thicker than the material you're cutting. This is about an inch and a half, so I should have plenty of material left. Now, it's gonna get loud. Oh my. Look at this, we got our GFCI thing above her plugged in. We're, it's safety don't take a day off here to start at four. It's just sometimes it's forgetful, that's all but it's still here. <laughs> You're gonna notice I have no safety glasses or good plugs, so. Do as I say, not as I do here, people. Let's say my mark is back here, and I don't want to turn the board around or remeasure. Biggity bam! I know where it goes. I've got it right there. So my mark's right there. I know that I'm good to go. I put that tight on my board. Boom! I slide through. This is not going to give you beautiful, perfect miters. You're going to have to design something a little bit sturdier. I got a piece of hardwood in here. It's I shouldn't say hardwood, a softwood. It's probably got a little bend in it, guys. It's not a big deal. What this is, is this is going to make, when I hook up my dust deputy and shop vac, this is going to make this a lot safer. 
I don't have to have two hands running on my, my board now. When I go to push this material through, I can push it hand safely, just like this. That piece will cut off, this piece will cut off. But I can run my miter gauge any side of the saw. Super simple, super easy, very inexpensive, hell of a lot safer, because let's face it, we've all done this before, right? Hand here, hand here, let's push through the saw and see what happens. How many of you guys have caught a board to the belly? This guy has. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Hope this tip helps somebody. Boom, go win your day. Running the board through, you want to be at a nice, even pace. You don't want to try to shove this thing through quickly.